What's up guys, your boy Jifty here, back to it again with another video and today I'm gonna showcase to you guys some new Pop Race samples. I gotta give a huge thanks to the Pop Race team for sending these in. These are uh, factory prototypes or prototype samples to be more specific. And these are like uh, early versions of the car. You know, these are subject to uh, license approval and all those stuff and whatnot. But more or less, the cars that I have here are a good representation of what the public release for the car will be like. I had to say that just to be black and white. But anyways, let's get to it. First, uh, the car I'm holding here is a Mazda RX-7. Yes, sure, uh, rear Mimia body kit and RX-7 is cool and all. But what I love so much about the car is the chrome paint. You might be asking, yo, Drifter, wh why is chrome such a big deal? Oh, sorry, my fingerprints are all over the car. I have, I have sweaty palms, so sorry guys. <laughs> the reason why it's a big deal is because up till this point, the only way you can kind of get a chrome car is by buying a Hot Wheels Redline Club car. And that's like 25 plus 7 <laughs> US dollar shit. That's, that's, that's crazy. But this one right here, for most pop race models, they go for around 12 to 16 US dollars depending on the model, which is way more fair than whatever you're dealing with with RLCs. It's also worth mentioning the details. I, I gotta keep quiet, man. Just look at that. Look at that. What the heck? This is not some flat 2D piece with like tempos on it. These are all separate pieces. The strut bar, the engine, the intercooler. That's amazing, man. And of course, you get a carbon fiber hood as a. Yo, it's crazy, man. So, this is why this car is a very big deal for me for this release. For them to normalize a chrome car is awesome. The fact that they released a chrome NSX a while back is also pretty cool. But once again, that was about a while ago. So now we're gonna see this soon. So that's very, very cool to see that. We're getting chrome cars for everyday collectors. You don't need to break the bank on the Hot Wheels RLCs to enjoy chrome. Next. Oh, this is crazy. So a fun little story was uh, during one of the Pop Race dinners, I made a suggestion. Hey, please make some Mustangs. I love muscle cars. And while all three cars we have right here are all Japanese, Japanese cars, JDMs, we have American Muscle coming in from Pop Race, and I'm so happy for this piece. Personally, I would prefer like the more modern 2015 Mustangs and stuff, but I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. This is a huge first step for Pop Race, and I'm so happy. So check this out. We get the GT500R. You get the whole decals on the side and stuff right there. And just like the RX-7, look at that. On oh, the front, the front. Oh, wait, I'm so... I'm so mesmerized by the engine that I forgot to admire the front. Look at the front grill. That's gorgeous. And the engine, what the heck is going on? There's so many things going on in that engine bay. It's up for you guys to look at it and admire it. The cool thing is that you can look underneath the car and you can see there's a gap there as well. Look at that. Talk about craziness, bro. The car also comes with side mirrors. Nice, beautiful American red muscle stripe on this black paint job. An opening rear trunk with what seems to be a nitrous canister in the back. <laughs> nice touch. It's not every day you get brands with opening rear parts. And I think that's cool. Look at that. That's very sick. Plastic rear pieces as well. All around very detailed car. The wheels. Chrome. Silver-ish uh, wheels. Very, it's a little bit chunky. Not gonna lie. I prefer more of those uh, deep dish wheels. It's just a personal preference. But these are the wheels that the car comes with. And silver detail around the door. A lot of these Pop-Race models, they have very detailed interiors. It's a bit hard to see the interior. The window is really small, but who knows, maybe in a future release with a white or silver interior, you can see it. But Pop-Race interiors are pretty detailed. And the car that proves my point is what's next, is the Honda Civic right here. So we've seen the blue Pandem Civic before from Pop-Race in this uh, similar blue color as well, with slightly different liveries. But this one comes with a hood delete. I think it's sick. I, I think it's sick that I, I don't know who came up with the idea. The pop race team, they're like, hey, let's freaking remove the hood. <laughs> Absolute mad lads. I mean, I know this is not the first time for a like as brand to do that, but for pop race to do it, I think it's a really bold move. And look at that. By deleting the hood, they are simply showing off the kind of details that they're capable of. And it's well executed. Props to them, man. Props to them. Nice body kit, 
bend them and all. Here's the rear. Uh, oh, if only I think it would be a nice touch if they had license plates. Honestly, with that empty space right there, it feels a bit weird. It would, it would be cool if they uh, put license plate on that, but still, plastic rear pieces right there. And to prove my point about the Shelby, the interior was hard to see, but for the Civic, are you guys seeing that? You get racing bucket seats. You got your fire extinguisher right there. And you look at the floor paneling. You see the side door right there. Look at that. That is absolutely crazy, man. I got a close-up shot of it in one of my videos. And like, you don't really pay attention to what's inside the car. But Poppers is like, nope, no shortcuts. Roll cage and everything. Well done. Bravo, Poppers. Bravo. The last car. And the last car from this set is the Datsun 620 Pendum. Alright, so we got another Pendum car, we got a Pendum Civic, we got a Pendum 620. I don't know why I'm emphasizing on the P when I say Pendum. <laughs> so, uh, honestly, I'm not, say, like, the biggest fan of off-road cars, right? Like, you don't, you guys don't really see me collecting a, a lot of off-roads, but I would say this is a very fresh take. Pop Race making an off-road car is very interesting, but I would say it's nicely done. First of all, you get this nice separate piece. I don't know how fragile it is. I'm not going to play with it, but you got a nice uh, roll, a roll cage. Can I say a roll cage? On the rear right here. Nice racing livery store tires and gold rims. Deep dish gold rims. And first cool point, barrel. Wait, you guys saw that? Was that too quick? Yes, the rear uh, bed, trunk, bed, door, jingle -ma dig goes down. And I think that's a pretty nice touch. Check that out. The heading to the front. You get the front details as well. You get blue. Look at that. The headlight pieces are plastic. I, they seem to be blue. Maybe they're white plastic pieces on the blue paint job. But you can tell there's like a plastic piece inside. It's not tempoed. And it's plastic pieces that makes car look so realistic. So check that out. Then here's the cool part. You can already see that there's a space around the hood. So you might be thinking, oh wow, Drifter. Uh, it's gonna be an opening. Oop, there seems to be some paint bubbles right here. That kind of sucks. But once again, guys, this is a prototype sample. So don't be worried too much about it. But yeah, it's not that it's an opening hood. Okay, it does open. So let me show you guys, okay? I'm gonna open up the hood. Yeah, you thought it was gonna open up like that? No, you think it's gonna open up? No, it's a removable piece. Look at that. You can admire the engine detail of this bad boy Datsun as well. Now you might be thinking, what? Yo, Drifter, like, if, if it's just a loose piece that, you know, can, you know, f be flimsy around, what if I put it on the truck? If I put it on the truck, will, won't it, like, fall? It will, it will fall. No, it doesn't. It doesn't fall off because this bad boy, listen to this, I'm going to keep quiet. I'm going to keep quiet. It's magnetic. Yeah, I bet some of you are like mind blown. I was mind blown when they implemented this on the NSX. And then for the CLK as well, which hopefully comes out soon. And then they're doing it again on the Statsim. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So I'm gonna stop drooling over these cars. It's worth noting once again, guys, that uh, Pop Race did send me these cars. So there is a certain biasness towards this when I say all these nice things about Pop Race because they did send this to me for free. But I hope that I've convinced all of you. But yeah, I, I hope that I've convinced you guys on these positive points. You know, it's just not me like sucking up to them, you know, like, oh, like gok gok and stuff. These are like real points and I hope I've convinced y'all. Obviously, there's going to be people out there saying like, Oh, Pop Race sends you this stuff for free. That's why you're saying all these nice points. But I honestly think you're valid. But once again, maybe you uh, differ from me. Some people, some mentioned in the comments, they don't really like the stance of the RX-7. I get that. Maybe I'm so blinded by the Chrome that some people do pay more attention to the stance and stuff. I don't know. But tell me in the comments, guys, what are your thoughts on this? And which one is your favorite? But with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.